Hello, I'm here today to talk to you about the VX Ego CE4 blister pack. It comes in multiple different colors. It's offered to us by VX Brands. There are many different things that come in the kit. It comes with the 650 mAh battery. It comes with the Ego USB charger to charge the battery. A wall adapter, USB universal wall adapter. Two different types of clarimizers a CE4 clarimizer and an HX clarimizer. And I'm going to go through each of these components with you and show you how they work. Now on the battery, the battery has multiple functions built into the button. Uh, the button is what activates the unit to heat the heating coil so that it creates vapor. You can also lock and unlock the battery and whether you're storing it and sticking your purse, things like that, to keep it from actually kicking on. So what you do is you push the button five times within two seconds, which means really fast. It flashes, and then when you push it, it lights up. That means it's on. Now if you want to turn it off, you do the same thing. One, two, three, four, five. It flashes, and then you notice whenever you push the button, it does not light up. Now it has several different colored LEDs built into this button. Uh, the, when it lights up white, like that, that tells you that the battery is fully charged, so you're good to go. Uh, when it lights up blue, blue means that it is mid-charged, about halfway through its charge life, and then it'll turn red when it gets to the end of charge life and needs to be recharged, and then will flash at you when it's done. And, you know, you've got to recharge it at that point. It takes about two hours to recharge. It's good for about 200 to 300 recharges, typically about a year, depending on how you use it. The charger itself, how it works, is it has an LED built into it too. So what you would do is you would just simply screw on the battery. And then when you do, if the battery needs to be charged, that LED will go red, letting you know it's charging. And then when it's done charging, it'll go green, letting you know that it's fully charged. Now when it gets closer to being fully charged, you may notice that it rotates between green and red. That's a normal process because it's getting right there at the point of being completely charged. So it's just testing it to see where it's at. When it's done, it goes green. Now guys, with any battery, when it comes to a charger, I don't recommend leaving it overnight charged unattended. I mean, it is a battery. Now, the USB wall adapter, it's a pretty simple wall adapter. Uh, very basic, I mean, it's got a USB Universal, which works for just about anything USB to charge, and of course plugs into a uh, 110 wall an outlet. Um, and you also notice too that on this there are many different chargers that look the same, but the milliamp output is what is important because you do not want to overcharge your battery. I mean, this one here is a 420 milliamp charger. I've seen these things at over a thousand milliamps. And if you go to charge a 650 battery with a 1000 milliamp charger, you could damage the battery. So pay close attention to that if you're using other devices to charge your batteries with. Or if you're using our charger to charge other batteries. It all makes a difference. Now the clarimizers, this is a CE4 clarimizer. The CE4 clarimizer provides a nice strong throat hit uh, with decent flavor. It's a top fill and the battery life I'm sorry, not battery life. Uh, the life of the clarimizer, the heating coil itself, is between one and four weeks depending on how you use it. Uh, the more you use it, it won't last as long. Now how you fill this on the CE4 is you unscrew the top. It is a top fill. And you'll notice in the center, see that middle tube in the center there? That is the airway. You do not want to put the liquid in it. So what you would do is most bottles of liquid has a needle tip on it. You would simply angle this at the side and then fill it. Just making sure that you don't push too much, too fast, so that you don't get in the metal tube. I typically fill it up to here. Now what you'll notice when they're brand new, as the wicks are absorbing the liquid, the liquid, as far as the volume, is going to decrease fairly quickly the first time. And then I want to screw this back on and then I always shake them 
for a couple of different reasons. We're trying to, to get the wicks all wet. And if there's any air pockets built into the inside of the heating coil, you know, from us filling it, then what you're doing is, is you're working those air pockets out so that you don't get a dry hit. And then, of course, you would screw it on to the battery. Make sure your battery's on. And then, I don't know if you can hear that, hear the sizzle. And then you take a slow draw into your mouth. Then blow out the vapor. Now, the HX Clarimizer is a little bit different. It provides a lighter throat hit, but brings out more flavor of the liquid. Um, there are always, everybody has their own um, you know, preference on whether they want a strong throat hit or a light throat hit, looking for more flavor or just looking for more plumes of smoke. And so this way it gives you kind of the variety of both for you to try out. And whichever one that you like the best, that's the one you'd buy the replacements for. Now the HX series has a replaceable coil. The CE4 does not. So you would replace this whole unit. Whereas with the HX, it's a bottom feed, bottom fill, so you turn it upside down whenever you go to fill it. You unscrew the base, and that would expose the base and the heating coil. Now the heating coil, uh, which the new ones are usually a little bit tight, I usually just take a pair of pliers to loosen it up. You unscrew it, and this coil right here is replaceable. Now, I normally take a warm water and I'll clean out the base and dry it out really good. That way that there is no uh, residue of liquid that may impede the voltage because there are contact points in both these units. And so you would just simply screw the new one back on like that. I mean, I sometimes grab my needle nose pliers to pin on your hand string just to make sure it's snug. And then you want to pay attention to see the O-rings here. If the O-ring is missing, then it will leak. So you need to pay attention to that. Now filling this one, if you'll look here, see that center tube? That tube is where you do not want to put the liquid. Now on this one, the tube is plastic. So what you would do is, you grab your bottle of liquid, just like with the other one, same procedure, hold it to the side. You would fill it up to below the tube, like that. Put your base back on, holding it upside down so you don't leak the liquid out. Tighten it up. Shake this one up also. Got to remove all the air pockets. And if you screw it on, you notice that you're getting a little dry hit and uh, sizzle, and it's just kind of hissing at you. You may have not gotten liquid in there yet. And away you go. Now, with either one of these units, and pretty much most clarimizers in general, as you use it and the liquid starts decreasing in volume in the uh, reservoir, it may actually create a vacuum lock up here, which then keeps the liquid from uh, going down into the heating coil. So occasionally, if you notice a dry hit when it's about halfway through, I try to keep it at least a quarter full to full whenever I, I use them, if they start getting down below to this level here, I usually refill them. But if by chance that it starts tasting dry, don't be discouraged. All you gotta do is loosen up the cap and a lot of times you'll hear it go Shh, as it releases the pressure and you screw it back down. Same thing with the CE4 except you're screwing the top instead of the bottom. Do that, relieve the pressure, and then you can go back to vaping. So that's all the components that are part of the VX Ego CE4 kit. For more information, you can visit our website and you'll see popping up on the video our uh, customer service uh, toll free number as well as our local number, our website, which is www.vxbrandz.com. Stands for vxbrands.com. Um, for more information and other products that we have available as well. Thanks again for watching my video.